Hello everyone, welcome back to Positron Plays Pyre. Last we left off hanging out in front of this fine unicorn lady. Mm. See what's going on inside. Ah, it's our bird friend. Also, we have a new uh, page in the Book of Rights. This must be her vial. Moonshine. Alright. Oh yeah, Ruki seems to have removed the ringing part. Someone, uh, someone pointed that out to me in the comments. <laughs> That's actually great. All right, Book of Rights. Let's uh, check out the new page we've got here. What's curious to me is that we're still on this, like, chapter one business. Are we actually going to fill out this whole thing? Because if so, that seems nuts. Or maybe it depends on how we do. Uh, my Emperor lay there. I was at the hunt for her. My Emperor lay there, bleeding alone. Stranded in a bitter land beyond the river. With fleeting consciousness, he understood the folly of his quest and the folly of his rule over his country. Thus did he wait the last embrace. It was the imp Hayub that nursed him back to health and warned him often of the dangers he would have to face. Many enemies of Myrrh would come and search for him, some under employment by the rope caller, some longing openly for cold, uncomplicated vengeance. I was one of them. I plunged into the river willingly. We needed to be sure that he was dead. Oh, damn. Alright, let's talk to Pamitha here. She's an outcast now. She's kept to herself. Since she's unaware of you, she preens her flight feathers, but then she speaks up before you can do the same. Come to check up on me, reader darling. In those first moments when we met, that vote of confidence in me, which you relayed to that nice headwind boy. I'm grateful you were willing to see past these wings. One of your kind's ancient enemies just happens to insert herself into your group and you just go with it? However, I assure you that my motives are here are plain. You'll see. A business with my blessed sister Tamtha and nothing more. You briefly met, I think. She's quite a catch. As to the little quibble between us, well, it's a long story, all in all. One that's frankly no one's business but hers and mine. Fair enough. Sure, we will run into her again. Maybe not soon, but in time, and we have the rest of our long lives to wait. Huh. Anyway, happy to aid you in your quest until such time, especially to the extent that it aids me and mine. A simple exchange. Till then, stay vigilant, darling. You needn't concern yourself with making small talk with someone like me. And besides, we harps have a saying, liars abound. Hmm. Very interesting. She does seem potentially like it's gonna be... I don't know. Questionable. Oh, what do we have here? You're still... You're not quite rank 3. Oh no, you're just barely rank 3. You're heading along towards rank 4. So are you. A little bit of inspiration in a lot of our characters here. Alright, let's continue on. Okay, so we're going to... Well, there's a lot of unknown areas coming up. We're going to the Sulphur Main. Cliff is rather treacherous. The wagon has hit a snag descending the Black Crags. Its wheel is stuck. Jodariel is not pleased. First, that blasted little bird. Now this. Though you like Jodariel's raw strength, you join in as she attempts to dislodge the wagon. At last, with a roar and a heave, she forces the wagon back on a solid ground. And this sandalwood would be worth all of the hassle. Thank you, Jody. I'm guessing sandalwood doesn't like to be kept waiting. He's very patient, on the contrary. Not I. Let's move on. Do you think it's possible... And I'm really throwing this out in the middle of nowhere. Is it possible that the minstrel is sandalwood and he's just guiding us to where he needs to go i'm curious about that 
Maybe not. I may be th I may be conspiracy theorying a little too much there. Soon the wagon is prepared to press on and went down the jagged slopes toward Waking Wood. Your companions who explored ahead advise on which of the fork paths is best. Also, this probably goes without saying, but keep the comments spoiler free, please. Okay, so I did uh, touch on something there. Alright. So Gilman claims he can dig up something valuable here. Pamitha says she can procure a talisman here. So that's interesting, because, I mean, we typically get talismans with money, or we could just get one. Um, oh, we can't actually check our stash right now. We don't have a lot of money, and I'm concerned about not being able to upgrade talismans, but I think we're better off just getting a free one. Let's try it. See what happens. We haven't had a lot of luck with these so far. At least not in the past couple of times. Haven't gone the route. Pam with the recommended should direct you towards a particular crag, no more conspicuous than any other. They clip our wings just before they cast us down, you know, but just the same, we learn to flit around a bit. Just watch. Oh. Huh. Swoops up to the nearby peak. She does not keep you waiting long and returns bearing an item of some sort. For you, reader darling, the highling remnant stash away such things for such occasions. Star Splinter. Huh, charge up speed increases by 40% when preparing to fling the orb. Eh, not fantastic, but we could always sell it if we need to. I haven't done a lot of orb throwing, basically. It was worth trying, though. Having passed beyond the Black Crags, your wagon arrives at the edge of Waking Wood. It is here that Sandalwood is to be expecting you. However, most puzzling, he ought have met us here. Said he would find us himself. Ah, yes, he was to find us at the edge of these woods. Okay, so I guess my little theory did not come true. You supposed to keep waiting for him? He would desire for the stars to be your guide as always. The rights beckon and the rights take precedence above all else. Surely he shall find us yet. Then let's keep moving. How do we get through these woods? The little minstrel knows two possible paths forward from this point, though cautious that the woods are difficult to navigate and Sandalwood would have known the most expedient path. Alright, we can go to Needlefield. Client studied the rights here, or Greymoor. Sandalwood woods resided here. Hmm. Maybe we can go by his house? It's interesting there's two unknown areas here. It seems like this Greymoor might open up the rest of the areas. Let's try this one. Sandalwood has led a long life compared with any of you, at least. The latest years of his exile became rather reclusive for a variety of reasons he shall no doubt explain. I found some solace here in these woods, though I fear I cannot locate his residence without him. Ooh. You remain quite lost. There's no path forward. Hmm. So we have two paths backwards. Tizo wants to go to Underthicket. Faye seems to be drawn to the Burnt Grove. Hmm. Let's go with Faye. I'm curious if perhaps maybe she's originally from around here. The woods are so disorienting at this point that you decide to break for camp and survey the surroundings for any clues. Perhaps later, this will be time to pursue your vocations. Nice. We could sift through the ashes. The Beyonder Crystal seeks your Dario. Perfect. That's great, actually. Let's do it. Yeah, Scribe Trial. It will be Jodario this time. Approved. Huh. Oh, he's already come. So there's going to be one for every character, potentially. I wonder what causes those to, to happen. That's Surly Demon, is it? She could stand to lighten up, though I fear that is not a secret I can teach. But let us bring her forth regardless. 
And she's ready to go. Alright, what do we got here? What is the meaning of this? Where are the others? Sandra appears and loosens her mask. Welcome to my humble home, demon. You're good at taking orders, no? State your purpose quickly, Wraith. You may be fearsome to behold, but you are old and slow. Bam. Your weaknesses perhaps outweigh your strength, though I certainly wish to see you and your lovely reader prove me wrong. Yeah, let's give her a little bit, a little taste of the Jadario here. Ooh, she's got birds. This is gonna be tough, actually. Hmm. How are we gonna do this? And we just have to banish them. There we go. There we go. I got an achievement unlock the fallen soldier. Maybe that's for getting so many points with your Dario here. Ooh. Botched that one. Oh, they actually threw it to us. I got tricked up there. There we go. Can we jump over this? We can. We do- oh, we got the dash there. We didn't get our proc that time. This is really tough, actually. Oh! Ah, damn it. Oh, the Mooncrest saved us there. Ah, uh, oh, it saved us again! Alright, alright. Nice, we're only gonna do that one more time. Boy, that Mooncrest, I think leveling that up has been the savior here. Alright, see if we can kill some of these. I would love to get the, the power cast, but I'm real bad at it. There we go, that was a power cast, actually. Boy, they come back super fast. No Mooncrest that time. They're probably gonna get one there? Yeah, that's tough. Alright, we have a lot of wiggle room here. We can do this. They just come back really fast. Ooh, they got us. She's far away, though. Two, one, we're up. Okay. Oh, man. This is this is actually really, really tough. I don't know what happens if you fail one of these, either. This is basically like... For worst case scenario. Can we hop in there? Oh! No! <laughs> We're so close! I should probably just try to throw it in. Honestly. There we go. Oh, shoot. Alright, we got Mooncrest there. Nice. Alright. She's just, she's so slow. Oh man, jumped right into that. These like these trails that they leave are really tough too. Damn. All right, I, g I gotta get this. I only need to get like one more, but they come back so fast. Okay. Okay. Can we get a toss from here? Damn it. We'll get back up before they can get in. Ooh, this is it. This is it. Ooh, that's tough. Jodario is very, very slow. Without that backup, she's kind of brutal. We did it, though. Never satisfied, demon. Pass the test. So is she going to get a special talisman now? Also got a tune for Sandra's Disciple. Made her for getting two done. That was a strange experience.
What do you have there, reader? Solium's horn. Jadrion casts her aura farther and faster than usual. 15%. Uh, I mean, that's alright. What are we using on her right now, actually? Oh, no, are you? No, we definitely don't want to replace that. Yeah, that's interesting. I mean, because... How much is that worth? <laughs> it's worth 80. I mean, maybe we hold on to it, but... We could always give this Mooncrest to someone else, but I feel like it's so, so good for Jodara because she provides us such a barrier to protect the Pyre. I don't know, we'll see on that one. Now let's get out here and uh, sift through the ashes. He was here, he was here. I mean, Sandalwood, if I may ask. How can you be so certain? I think from this, I think from this, it says something. I don't know what it says, but I feel like it has to mean something. Small strip of bark you found in the ashes. At first, it seems like nothing of interest until you see a message carved onto the side. Found a bark strip. It must mean something. Hmm, it can be sold. So it's some kind of message. Seems that way. Which way to Cinder Root? Hush clearing south of the Glade of Blue. It's due west. Perhaps we can set forth early tomorrow when the woods are still. Sounds good. Everyone rest up. Big day coming up. Uh, I think we, again, I think we go with mentoring. Getting uh, getting some resources, getting more money is nice. Getting bonuses would help, but I think, again, leveling people up is kind of big. Especially because I'm using such a wide variety of characters. I think that I kind of have to make use of, of this mentoring. Uh, again, I'm kind of tempted to mentor a new character and see what they have to offer. So let's do that. Let's mentor Pamitha here. I'm a little afraid of Jodaro getting jealous, but let's see how it goes. This might be a terrible way. I might. It's possible I should be focusing on singular heroes here, but I am curious to see most of them. Hmm. Sumi kept him up with you at this, whether you like it or not. All right. So let's see her trees here. Wings of the Matriarch or Ways of the High Wing. Flyer, <laughs> yeah, flyer fasting, faster flying, dash ability, less stamina. So I haven't done that saluting. Permanently gains eight quickness. That's a lot. Uh, faster after banishing. Or burst. So that's the wing fear that builds off the first one. Natural superiority. Plus four to everything. Ah, uh, I think I kind of like this other one. I think if we're going to use her, she's going to be used for speed like Ruki. And I think that's pretty much how I'm going to be building things out. Is Essentially, Jodario is just going to be our wall. And we're going to have two speedy offense players. You know that we can all feel your guidance when we have the orb, don't you, reader, darling? Hmm. Alright, nice. I like her background, too. And maybe we'll pause there for now before we head to the next area. Because um, once we head there, I bet we're going to do the right soon, too. So we'll pause there for now. So thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, click like. Helps a bunch. Subscribe for more, and I'll see you soon.